G'day viewers, um, sorry for the shaky video, my other camera's sort of uh, not working at the moment, so just a very short video. We're looking at energy, and what is it? On the board there's a few examples of um, human achievements with different forms of energy. Uh, starting on the left hand side we've got heat energy, heating up some water, creating steam, powering a steam engine uh, invented in 1712 by Mr. Newcommon. Uh, then in 1831 we could add a uh, electric dynamo to that thanks to Mr. Michael Faraday. Same year he invented electric motor which is just a generator uh, or dynamo running in reverse. And then up there we've got uh, 1802, we've got the carbon arc. In 1879 we've got the incandescent globe by Edison. Carbon arc was by uh, Humphrey Davy. Anyway, uh, my point is here we're using different forms of energy uh, to do work or heat or, well, it's still to do work. And they all have one commonality and that is the primordial energy behind it and I'm saying what is energy? So if you can explain what energy is, not its properties, not its capacity to do work or move things or motion, if you can tell me what the primordial force description of energy is, uh, then you'd be one of the smartest people I've ever met. And I've only met one person who can describe this accurately. And I've met lots of people. But that's it, that's my question. What is energy? And this relates to what is gravity? Now, gravity, energy, two different things. So we'll get on to, uh, I'll do a gravity uh, video when the other camera, when the tripod's good. So um, I'll shut this one off now, just make it a short video. You can answer the question in the comments or you can read other people's answers and pick the best one and see if anyone gets it right. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, you've got some really interesting videos coming from me. Well, they'll be interesting to some people. Uh, I've got a whole new uh, hypothesis on gravity, which is an extension of uh, general and special relativities. It sort of joins the two together, and it could even be called quantum gravity. But uh, it's applicable on the entire scale of the universe. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Drop back again and see my videos on gravity. Cheers.